Okay, so today I'm continuing with the brass rebuild. Um, I've decided I'm going to measure up the uh, the pistons. I have two pistons there. Uh, one is from the engine that was on the bench, and the other one is from the bike. This one is from the bike. This one's from the bench. Um, as you can see, they have small signs of wear. Uh, that's very normal. This, that doesn't mean anything. Um, so I won't know until I actually physically measure these. Um, what I also need for this is obviously something to measure with. A micrometer is 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 the is the job. Um, don't use even though this is a good brand. Um, a caliper. I don't use calipers. They don't. They just don't have the precision. Um, so micrometer is is what we're going to be using today. Um, and before I start any measurements, I have to zero out this micrometer to make sure that it's 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 exactly right. Um, and for that, I'm going to use these little bars. So these are exactly 50 mil, and that means that I can I can I can calibrate that before I start making any measurements. What you also need is the manufacturer's spec. Here it is. Uh, I printed this off the internet, and as you can see, the spec for this for this particular piston, this is a J model bike. Um, is your measurement is taken here? This H, which is a 10 mil, so 10 mil on the skirt of the the piston. Um, and the measurement should be within 63.96 millimeters and 63.99 millimeters. Um, that's that's the service limit. Um, so I'm going to be using the 50 to 75 mil. Um, and yeah, let's see how I get on. Okay, first things first. Um, I'm going to make sure that this is this is zeroed out. So exactly at 50 mil that it is 50 mil. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I put my bar in, I spin the timbal there, so I start getting resistance, okay it's, it's holding there, now not sure if you can see it, um, the angle may be a bit different for you but for me I can see it exactly, it's exactly zero. Now I've already adjusted this beforehand a couple of times, but when it comes when you buy one of these things out of the box, you do have to adjust it. It doesn't uh, the likeliness it's not going to be it's not going to be zeroed out. So this here at the very end is like a little torque wrench, uh, and basically means that you won't over tighten anything that's in these jaws. Um, so okay, so that's zeroed out. So I can make my measurement now. So I'm going to spin that out. Let's spin it out to 60. Okay, that's 60. And I know that my piston is 60, just short of 64. So what I'll do is, the top line is one millimeter, the bottom line is half a millimeter. And this scale is from zero to 50. So basically, each time, each time you do a full revolution of this, it brings you half a millimeter. So if I go from zero to zero, so I go zero, to zero, I'm on a half on the bottom line there, which means I'm on 60.5. Spin that again, 61, 61 and a half. I'm at 62, 62 and a half, 63, 63 and a half. And 64 okay so I'm gonna have to go back now because I know that the piston is smaller than 64 so I'm at 64 as you can see I marked off 10 millimeters from the bottom as per the manual on both sides so there's X X marks the spot so that's kind of the middle of this so I'm just gonna line up the anvil with this X it's easier to mark it off for yourself because at least you can kind of you can get a better understanding. Now I'm going to tighten it ever so slightly and I'm going to go back to the ratchet. There's a little bit of a um, playing around with this to get it exactly right. Okay. I obviously don't want to over tighten this.
really what you don't want is it moving up and down so it's still doing that okay so my measurement is 63 and a half plus 46 which is 63.96 is my measurement on this piston so that's good that's within the service limit and I'll just measure the other one all right so I've measured these up um, they're both exact same measurement they're both 63.96 um, so they're within that lower lower service limit um, there's they're identical so I can use either one of them there isn't a lot of damage this one here there's an issue with this one a little bit there's a little bit of scratches there but they're very light uh, so something did happen uh, you know maybe it got cooked a little bit um, this one here is a rear one off the other engine the one that's on the bench also got cooked as you can see this actually this this piston ring here the compression one here is actually stuck it's not moving so I'll free that up and have a look what condition that's in um, but overall this is how you me measure them um, I'm happy enough to use either one of them once I free up this this piston ring um, I'm going to try and keep so whichever cylinder head I'm going to use that's the piston I'm going to use as well I'm not going to mix and match them at this point because they're already worn in so might as well wear them in with might as well wear the new rings in with the the, the original piston uh, instead of messing this around so um, yeah so that's how you measure it that's it for the video thanks